What is going on everybody? This is Heck back with a new video. Today we will be discussing about npm package called mongoose which we will use to connect our mongodb to our node.js app. What is mongoose? Mongoose is a mongodb object modeling tool. It is designed in such a way that it works in an asynchronous environment which supports both promises and callbacks. So let's install it using npm Let's open our terminal and then let's go to npm install mongoose. Okay, let's uh, import our mongoose while it's being installed. First, mongoose equals to require require mongoose. Okay, mongoose. And then uh, we'll have a look at it. We need to connect our MongoDB database. So let's move to our database, which we have created in the previous video. If you haven't watched our previous video, I'll be giving link in the description. Please go and check it out. We need to move to our cluster. And then hit the click the connect button. You'll be redirected to this. Then select connect your application. After this, you need to select version 3 or later because later versions are not compatible with Mongoose. Okay, 3.0 or later. And then uh, we'll copy this. Go back. Uh, we'll just close this. And then just use mongoose.connect and then provide a url let's uh declare our variable url which will contain this we need to replace this here with password which is test and the database name which is form okay uh, we are now good with this after this we need to create a schema Schema is like a blueprint of what you will be providing. Uh, new mongoose.schema and then we'll be providing a data with object, object type. We'll also provide a collection name that is collection our collection name is survey form okay we have provided our schema let's uh, close this terminal for now define our model this const form equals to mongoose dot model form and then what we will be providing is stored in form schema okay now we'll create a variable we'll create a variable which will store our form that data so we'll call this a form data form data equals to will provide body data as a parameter body data and then arrow function form this form is what model is so form and we'll be providing a data as body data and then uh, hit save and provide a parameter of error if it occurs and then provide with error function and if error occurs we'll just throw error we'll not handle this error we'll just throw error so okay so error okay we are good with this now this now the last part is left which is giving the uh, form data to the uh, function so we'll just uh, replace this console.log with form data function form data and then provide it with the request.body as a parameter 
okay now let's have a look at it by starting our server that is opening our terminal and then nordman server dot yes okay we are getting some error here because uh, it is not compatible i have already told you and uh, for the compatibility we need to pass this in a constructor okay this will help us uh, now let's save this and again start our normal server okay it's starting now let's move to our chrome and then enter our form details Now let's see since data or not so let's uh, move to our collection and then see our database that is survey form let's see and we have our data here saved it is now saved to our database so this is how we connect our mongodb database to the node.js app if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button if you like the video like it uh, if you have any suggestions please comment down and uh, this is the end of the video stay safe stay creative i'll catch up with you in the next video